To get started in Clips, what you're going to do is you're going to find the Clips app. And the Clips app is going to look like this right here. You can also click on your screen and drag down and pull up the search bar and then type in Clips and then tap that to get open. And it will open in the camera mode. In the top left-hand side of your screen, up here in the top left-hand side, you see a file cabinet. Go ahead and hit that file cabinet, and then hit New Project, the plus. What we're going to do first is we're going to put in a poster. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click this guy right here. And you'll notice that when I tap that, it says Photos and Posters. I'm going to go ahead and hit Posters. My options come up on the left-hand side of the screen, and it might take a second for them to download. They are dynamic, which means they move. So if you click and you find one that you like, and then if you hold it for a few seconds, you'll see how it moves. So it'll download. Once you have it downloaded, you can just click and tap it, and it goes right onto your screen, which is what I've got now. If I want to change what it says, I can click that and then type in what I want. Welcome to Clips, for example. Once I have that, I'm going to do the recording. So to make it active, there's a red button on your screen. Anytime you're using clips and you want to record, we're going to hold that red button down or slide it to the left. If you slide it to the left, it's like a hold position. It'll stay recording. If you just hold your finger down on that, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap this button and hold it. I'm going to hold it for five seconds so I get that dynamic movement of the balloon. So you'll see that right now when I tap it. And I want to hold that for about five seconds. Five seconds is a good number for your posters. You'll notice now that that first clip is down in the bottom left-hand side. So I'm ready to do my second part of the video. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go out on the internet and find a picture of my favorite animal. So I'm going to open up Google. I'll type in Springer Spaniel. I'll find the image that I want. Now, it's real important not to take the thumbnail because it will look pixelated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that picture open, and then I'm going to wait for it. So notice that it's pixelated. That's not the one that I want. Now it looks much better. I'm going to click, and I'm going to hold, and I'm going to save in photos. And now I've got that in my photo roll. Now I'm going to go back to my clips video to drop in my image. I'm going to go back to clips. And I've already got my poster. This time I'm going to tap and I'm going to put in photos. And when I drag in photos, you'll notice that my dog image is there at the top. So I'm going to click add at the top of the screen. And now it gives me two options. Add to project means it's just, just going to drop in that image, but I want to talk over it. So I'm going to do preview and record. Most of your presentations are going to have a preview and record if you, want, if you don't want to be on the screen. So I'm going to click preview and record. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that red button again, and I'm going to talk over my dog, and I'm going to explain about Springer Spaniels. This is a Springer Spaniel. He is a hunting dog. I've owned two different Springer Spaniels, and I'm currently looking for a third. You'll notice now that that clip goes down at the bottom, and if I wanted to preview that, I could click that clip and hit play. This is a Springer Spaniel. He is a hunting dog. I've owned two different Springer Spaniels, and I'm currently looking for a third. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to practice deleting a clip. So let's say I make a mistake. I'm going to go back into here, and I'm going to show you just photos real quick. And I'm going to drop in a different photo. And click Add. And this time, instead of Preview and Record, I'm just going to add it to the project. You'll notice that it drops in into my order. And if I want to, I can rearrange by clicking and dragging so that now I have my, at the Comedy Center, a bunch of teachers at the Comedy Center ahead of my Springer Spaniel. So I've got my title slide, my image, and my Springer Spaniel. When you drop in a photo, its default is for three seconds. If you want to expand that, what you can do 
is underneath the, uh, when you click on the photo, you can highlight it and then click duplicate. And now it puts another three seconds of cl clip in there. So instead of having just three seconds before, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six of six seconds of a photograph. Let's say we don't want that second one. We'll click that, and then you'll notice that the white box around that clip is highlighted. If I just click delete, it will go away. Let's add text to the Comedy Center image. What I'm going to do, click on that image down in the clips bar, and then I'm going to click effects. And when I do, I have some options. I have emoji options, I have filter options, but what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to play with the A's, and that's going to allow me to do text. If you click and you drag that bar up, you'll see lots of different options. I really like the blue circle, and you'll notice that when I put the blue circle on the screen, I get my grab bars again, and now I can type in that box. So, teachers, and I can tap away from teachers, and now I can move that around my screen. I can turn it upside down with my fingertips. I can make it as big or as small as I want. If I make a mistake, when I click done on that, now on the top left-hand side, there's the word done. You put it the way that you want, and now my clip has teachers there. If instead you decide you don't want that, you can just, you can edit it if you have a spelling mistake, or you can just delete it and it goes away. If you have trouble with stickers, you can take your iPad out of the case. Sometimes the case disrupts the iPad. So in clips, if you're having trouble getting your stickers to move, you could pop your iPad out of your case. The other thing that you can do is quit out of clips and go back in. I'm gonna add some effects. I'm gonna add stickers this time, emojis. So I'm in, gonna to go to the emoji part and do some stickers. When you're doing stickers for your presentation, you wanna make sure that that sticker ties into your presentation. So none of these really tie in. So let's see if I can find something, an animated sticker that does tie into my presentation, which is, is on my favorite animal. So if I could do something that shows like it's a favorite of mine or with something that I really like, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drop it in there. So it'll take a second, it'll download. And now, again, I can click and I can move it. And when it plays, it will be dynamic. So allow me to show you that. It will move when I click it. So I'm gonna hit the play button. And you'll see that, that this now is a Springer is a Spaniel. He is a, a dynamic sticker. And that will stay on the uh, slide for as long as you are on that clip. And one more thing I wanna show you with clips is soundtracks. There is a musical note in the top right. If I click in the top right and I go to soundtracks, you can sample all of these options. And if you don't have something like Shapes of Things right now, we're just gonna tap it and it'll play a little selection for me. It'll download. And let's say that, yeah, that's the vibe that I'm really looking for. If that's what I want, I'm gonna click this back arrow at the top. And you'll notice now, Soundtrack Shapes of Things is in there. If you just want to change that, real easy to do. So I'm going to go to pop, uh, pop Topper. And now I can change that. Once you get what you want, go ahead and click Done. And what it does is it builds the soundtrack for an intro in your first slide and an outro at the second slide. And it automatically uh, customizes the length of the song to your clip. when you want to export your presentation. So if you're all done, you click the Done button, and then in the top left-hand side, you're gonna go back to that file cabinet of all of your presentations. And find the one that you just did and that you wanna ship out. Click and long press. And I wanna hold that for and about five seconds. And then you'll notice the five seconds is a... When you click Share, you can do uh, uh, lots of different things. So if you slide through, you can drop it in Drive, you can put it in Google Classroom, Anything that your teacher wants you to do, you can also email it. So those are ways to get your presentation to wherever you need to do. And you can also rename your project 